Greetings and salutations, friends, and welcome to some more Planet Coaster with Fraggle. And today I am going to do something slightly different. Slightly. Okay, it's going to be very different. Um, uh, I'm going to go with a track ride. Actually, first of all, I'm going to do this. Alright, now let's continue on in a normal way. Um, let's get this down. Oh, it's because I'm on 1%. On one meter. Okay, there we go. Down. Alright. Uh, two. Is it eight meters? Eight meters? Yeah, why not eight meters? Okay, so. Fine. And some water. Okay. There's some water. And now the fun part. Can we get a path to run along that? This isn't actually what I am uh, trying to accomplish. This is a comparison. a little bit. Okay, angle snap is off. Hang on a minute, I can't remember how to do this. Oh, yes I can. I want to lift that up ever so slightly. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. Down a bit. Kind of get this to follow the river a little bit. Can't see because of the camera. Now we've got kind of sort of uh, a, a, a walkway that goes around the side of the river. I don't think we're going to be able to lift the terrain up. I think this side is too far away. Yeah. What I should have done was lifted the terrain on this side first. Um, what I'm going to do is actually I'll delete that. If you can get the terrain inside the collision zone, you can adjust it after you've placed the object. Let's see if I can get that. Okay, and then terrain, we will pull it a little bit. It takes a little practice, that's the problem. And and some patience, which I don't have right now. I'm still on my... I can still taste the coffee. Um, path. See. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Ah, 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 ah. Come on, come on. There it is. I knew I'd get it. And there we go. Right. So now I should be able, I think if I've done this right, just to touch this path up. No, oh, yeah, no, it's locked it. But if you, if you take the time and you get it right, you can get it right up to the edge of the path like that. It just takes a little time, a little practice, and a little patience. Now on this side, uh, what you can do is, uh, well, you can potentially use a building. You could, uh, where are we? Let's, let's use some wood. Now, you know what, let's use the 4 meter just to be on the safe side. Let's get this lined up with the path. 
There. Actually, I could have used the two, couldn't I? Oh well, whatever. Come on, play nice. Right. See, you can you can make yourself a little uh, using the buildings. You can make yourself a little side facade or a little support that goes around the edge here that goes down into the water or I mean if you want you can go into scenery and pick out some rocks and you know line it with oh, come on and just line it with rocks instead again it takes a little a little bit of a little bit of time a little bit of practice You know that kind of deal, and if you throw down some uh, some greenery as well, there you go. See, it's not, it's not too bad. Doesn't look too bad, does it? Of course, you would have to do that the way around, and you. If you try and use the buildings, you know, when you get to these corners here, you're going to... You're probably going to have a small mental breakdown. Okay, so, well, that's that. But if I unpause, I mean, it looks okay. The water kind of ripples nicely. And, mm. But yesterday I had a play with another idea. Um, and it's actually pretty, pretty tricky to... Uh, to set up, but uh, we'll, we'll try it anyway. I mean, that's a really nice, flat, you know, inconsequential river. But what it can do... kind of looks like a flowing river. Actually, if you don't use the, uh... You know what, let me edit this. Because I think, actually, it's better if you don't use the, uh... There we go. I think that one probably looks a little better. So we'll, we'll set it to rapids and we'll... Actually, this one will keep straight. Curvy, curvy. And then we'll put this back to normal. Like that. And then this lot we will just get rid of. Bye 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 bye. Right. Uh, keep. Right. So now we have a Pretty quickly moving ride. Well, what I want to try and do now is is get this buried underground, kind of like this. There's no way you can get this into the water before you think about that. It's a ride. As soon as it intersects with the plane of the water, it turns red, and yeah, you start crying. Um, so the first thing I want to do is get this thing buried. Now, the really cool thing about this is you can lift it up and down so you can literally have literally you can actually have this thing following the terrain a little better than you can this you know you can actually uh, go into here and edit if I click on this but there we go you can actually you know make this thing pivot up and down 
so you can actually get it to kind of follow the terrain a little bit which is a little more interesting than this but again this is going to take a little a little work a little futzing around so the first thing I want to do is dig myself a hole and then widen it all right that's a little much but whatever <laughs> oh stupid the first thing I want to do is move the ride <laughs> well I kind of want to move it to where I'm gonna put it so let's say I'm gonna put it here but what I do need to do uh, is push the right button there we go is lift it off the ground the reason I want to lift it off the ground is so that when I try and edit the ground uh, the collision mesh around this won't you know stop me from deforming the terrain So, now we do this again. Uh, I left it a bit wide, but whatever. <laughs> so I'm going to follow this around. Now, immediately, this comes out looking quite nice. But when you consider how much effort it takes to do this and if you were going to do this across a very large area of your park this could potentially drive you ever so slightly insane so we put it roughly where we want it we hit the advanced move button and we lower it to where we actually want it to sit now I should be able to get this into the hill if I've dug the hole properly. There we go. Now you can get it pretty close to these to this edge or well to the edges. You can get it you can run it up pretty close. It just again it just takes a little bit of patience just to that's gonna be about it. Alright. So, that's that bit. Let's see if we can backfill some of this. So I'm just gonna take this bit here. Okay, so I can backfill some of this terrain here. All right, that's good. Okay, yes, excellent. Um, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make myself a little, a little pond here. I have this kind of run out into a pond. How? How? I don't... You can't fill that with water? Actually, it's got to go down a little bit. Okay, there we go. Okay, so... Now we need to pull. Because we've got to make sure that... The water detection isn't going to go running off down here. Because again, you'll get that um, collision with the ride, so it won't put water in. Okay, so... Boom! Okay, there's some water. Okay. That looks a little funky. But, if we take the time, we can dress it up a little bit. We can put some rocks around. Um, and as you can see, we can get pretty close to the ride with the rocks. like that <laughs> so you know and then on this side I can, I can kind of sort of do that lift that one a little bit and rotate it around down there and then do that like that and then I can use some small rocks just to, just to do that Of course, the crap singing is optional. Um, okay, 
So now we have a river that's coming along, and it's roughly the same height as this. So let's toss down uh, some effects, and we'll do like the uh, the splash. Okay, that's off. We'll lift this up a little bit. And I kind of want to hide the, the splishy splashy. I want to give it that, that idea that it's coming out from there. Now obviously if you if you took the time you could probably make this look a lot better. Let me see if I can. Whoops. foundation tool just to knock some of that out. Alright. It's actually very deep for some reason. Oops. That's a little better. Alright, see that's that's a little better. Um, you've got a little bit of a shelf here, but yeah. Again, if you take the time and tide it up, you know you can see that that actually is leading through the rocks and out into here quite nicely. It looks, it looks nice. It looks nice. All right, but that doesn't. Well, first of all, what we can do is we can change the color, which is really handy. Uh, it's that weird green, so I should, if I change it to black, there we go. There. So, now the bottom of it is a darker color. All right. Now, this is where the patience and the, well, yeah, basically the patience comes in. <laughs> You've got to conceal these edges. Wait, did I not? Yes, I did. You've got to conceal these edges. Uh, again, if you take the time, you can actually sink, you can get this edge closer in and sink this down into a, a tighter uh, molded hole, I guess is, is the right, well, right term. But what I can do is turn off the Align to Surface. <laughs> oh no! Turned it off, not on. Idiot. Um, and do that kind of deal. Right? Do that all the way along. You can use different, different hedges just to kind of blend that that hard edge into the scenery somewhat. Uh, you know, I'm kind of rushing this because, you know, video. But you can kind of see it's, it's, it's coming together. It's looking okay. This bit probably would look better with the, you know, with that. With the, you know. hmm? Yeah? No. Uh, and of course you can do the same. You can put some rocks along there. Of course you got to lift them slightly. Line them up. And there we go. Look at that. See, that's terrible. That one is. Just rotate them and play with them a little bit. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Bad, just that little bit of overlap really does does kind of help. There you go. There, see? And let's was what what it's hang on hang on I'm going mad again there it is oh god uh, <laughs> again you know you can you can put a little bit of greenery in there if you're if you're careful I don't like that you know There. See? That's not that's not terrible. Looks pretty good. Alright, but uh, 
the, the path is, is, again, the path is our issue more than anything else. So let's see if we can get our path pretty close to that. Path. Hey, the way I It's a path. Okay, so. Clunky, clunky. I don't want you to. I don't want you to snap to the ground. That's. No, stop. What? What? What's going on? There we go. I, yeah, I don't. I don't want you to snap to the ground, buddy. Buddy, mate, fella, come on. Oh, that wasn't quite perfect, but, you know, whatever. Again, just as a quick and dirty idea slash concept, this is actually not turning out too bad. That looks pretty special. I think. I think that actually looks really nice. Uh, if you took the time and just adjusted this edge of this path here. There. And then, you know, it kind of comes out this babbling brook here. Let's, you know what? Uh, scenery, let's grab water. We'll put a large fountain put a large fountain splash in. Uh, ooh. The problem with that is it's gonna it's gonna do that. That's gonna look a little weird. I wonder if I wonder if these are single faced sprites. If I turn this upside down. Oh yes! Look at that. That you know what though I've got to turn on let me adjust that. Let me turn on the angle snap. Right now I can turn on the advanced move. Bring this down. There. <laughs> That's not bad. That is not terrible. Again, you know, if you take the time, you can clean this edge up. You can make it look really pretty. You know, and at the other end, you can do a, a waterfall feeding into this. And then, can we get it down? There. Ah, see? And then we can, uh, again, you know, just take the scenery items and the rocks. And <sighs> turn off the angle snap and lift them slightly and bring them closer in so they kind of look like they're meant to be there. Or you could run another path on this side or trees or bushes or whatever the hell you wanted. But, you know, that, if you take a little more time to dress it up, that ain't terrible. And you got a little path that runs alongside a uh, bubbling river that makes a noise. And then, you know, you can, f like I said before, you can follow the terrain. You could angle this down slightly and have it follow the terrain so the rapids look like it's because the river is going down slightly. It's a shame that we can't actually get rocks in the river. <laughs> but, I think that this isn't that it's not too terrible looks pretty good and that's that I just wanted to try that idea out and do it in front of everybody I think as a as a concept as an idea 
That actually works out pretty good. That's it. Have a play with that idea. See what we can come up with. I don't see you or not. Oh, well, that's the only problem is you're going to constantly get hit with this. <laughs> but if you can live with that, I think that looks pretty nice. Kind of cool. I will see you or not.